hello guys welcome back to another video it's a friday afternoon and i'm being sun kissed <laughs> yeah so i'm headed to bibo restaurant it's along mudangari road just if you're coming from Wayaki way it's a, it's around apple abc place roundabout so it's a really nice cute space and it has like really good food for those people who love home tasting food for their high tasting come a restaurant come live maybe with with some love you know yeah so they really have like really nice food and it's affordable and pocket friendly and it's a cute space to be in they normally have like good music and good lighting yeah and so I was saying it's a really cute space and the music is really good especially if you want to hang out with your friends for an evening yeah so I'm headed there and come come along come along I'll show you I'll probably show you what I'll pick and yeah the general look of this the general look and feel of this place so so as we were headed there I just remembered that there are these guys around Mm -hmm. on this red red hill road who normally sells roses and i decided to get a bunch for my friend because this would this would have been a very good thing to you know to give her because it was new year's and it had been long since i saw her yep though we didn't get into an agreement with these guys and decided to go to Sinta's shop this shop is somewhere around kitisuru the junction between kitisuru and spring valley and it's a very cute beautiful shop with varieties of flowers and they package them so nicely they make like really beautiful bouquets so i picked these white roses and a cute shade, shade of pink yeah and they you know they organized it for us and the bouquet was really beautiful my friend actually appreciated it so much and off we went yeah that this is us going down long jumps gishuru then you take your first left and just a, just a few meters on your left we go restaurant is just right there see how beautiful this place is guys just look at how good this is yep it's more outdoorish and it's it normally feels very it can get chilly in the evening so you can pull up there with your sweater or something yeah but i love the how it looks so beautiful just wait and see how how, how it looks at night you'll love it yeah my friend loved the flowers this is more of how the space looks these part of it is covered with some shade and then part of it is just open in the air yes So by the time we were there, the space wasn't all that full yet because we, were, we, we arrived that around, I think, 5 p.m. Yeah, but the space got fuller as, the, as, we going, as we went into the night. And that there is a cocktail tree being set up, as you can see it. Yeah, it's a variety of nice cocktails. And there goes the menu. I feel like the prices are really affordable. You can see that most of the food range at 700 to 850. And myself, I picked the shredded crunch, crunchy chicken. Yeah, just look at how yummy that looks. I don't know why I love so many things with a lot of cheese on top of it. My friend had a burger and some fries. That was accompanied by cocktails, of course. Yep, we really had a good time. I really enjoy the food at this place. And I would recommend, I would recommend it for sure.
<laughs> so interesting. Uh, so hi guys, we are back again. So many days later, it's been about two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks down the line. Yeah. So we are reviewing Bubo Restaurant. So for Bubo, we had a really good time. No lie. Like we we enjoyed the food. Had a good like very ch chatty sessions oh, we laughed a lot we drank so much and that's why even we forgot to do a review yeah but here we are doing the review so Rosa, this is the friend i went out with Rosa. yeah i'm rosan <laughs> yeah this is rosan <laughs> yeah so yeah, rosan you can tell us what you liked about maybe the ambience the location of where we were like was it friendly to you Maybe the food, did you get good attendance? What do you think about it? So we can start with maybe the location. Yeah. yeah. So at least Buibo is like very accessible. Yeah. Very near. Yeah. Because James Dishuru Road, which is very near to where I live. Very, yeah, and also very close to El. Along Wayaki Way. So you can just branch into James Dishuru and access the place. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the ambience is very nice. Although I hear that sometimes they usually have live music. Oh yeah, yeah. So we went down on a Wednesday, and you, the the live band is normally there around. I think Saturday, I think Fridays or Saturdays or something like that or Sundays. So we didn't get to experience that, but no lie, the music was really good, and we yeah. had a good time. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the food, the food maybe was it was nice, like for the price, it was very affordable for the price, and um, yeah, yeah. Also like the food, the food is. For for guys who love home tasting food, I feel like it feels like very it's very home tasting. Really? Yeah. I feel like I feel like it feels like your ordinary kitchen kind of things without spices, which is very good for someone who doesn't like spices and love. What did you have? Cooking food. I have I had the the chicken. I had fries with chicken shredded, like chicken that was shredded with cheese and yeah, like some sauces on top. Okay. I had a burger, but my burger was. Average at best, <laughs> but very good. The pricing is really good. Yeah, to okay, die for the for. price. Yeah. For yeah. The, the pricing is really good, and the ambience is everything. And that's a spot you can actually use for dates and yeah. things like those. Yeah, as you said from the video, it's really good, and, and I would recommend it for dates. Like, yeah. yeah, and also like the cocktails. Okay, the cocktails were very nice. Okay, the ones I had, I had like a gin based cocktail and a whiskey based whiskey sour, and they were well made. Actually, the whiskey sour was, I think, the best I've ever had. Oh, for real? Yeah. The alcohol was was really good. The, yeah. Uh, take note. The alcohol was really it good. Wasn't the cocktail, the, it wasn't diluted. It wasn't diluted. No, like the the proportions are like really good. So I would recommend. By the time we left there, we were like. Mm -hmm. That's true. We're so good. We're so good and so lit. Yeah, but one mistake that happened, maybe which was like a to do for them or what we'll recommend them to do better was my drink was confused for results and I ended up taking yeah, taking a drink that I didn't order and I was confused the entire time and then later the waitress was like, Oh, she made a mistake and yeah, yeah. that was an extra drink for me. <laughs> Yeah, but generally we had a really good time. Yeah, the ambience was really good. I'll recommend the place. They have this thing called a cocktail tree that we didn't have, but I did wish yeah, we showed how the cocktail tree is prepped. The cocktail tree has like a couple of drinks. Six drinks. Six drinks, mm -hmm. yeah. And you can sample as many cocktails as yeah, you want. Six cocktails and you can do have with your significant other yeah. or your your date for the day. Your date for the yeah. yeah, for the day. Yeah. yeah. It was really good and the cocktail the cocktail tree comes with a discount, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so you can have six glasses of different cocktails with uh, you know, some subsidized prices. Which I thought, if you if you just want to have a good time, you can you can try that out. That was that the cocktail tree was going for around I think four thousand bucks, something like that. You can confirm it from their page, or you can post the, the menu. Yeah, I can actually post. Yeah, I'll share the menu with you guys. Yep, that's it. And yeah, that was that was it for Bibo Restaurant. We had a good time. We'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>